So these set of tutorials are going to go with um, a set of replit exercises that I've written for you. I'm going to talk you through each one and I think that you should uh, do the work in Python as I go through them. So pause and, and write your own programs, have a play around with them, Say, set up a folder for yourself and then and save your files obviously with a good name and then when you're doing the challenges you will be able to uh, refer back to that code. So validation is when we are checking that the data we that's being entered is the data that we expect um, because obviously invalid data will mess up uh, pr your program. So we're going to start with a length check and in true uh, Blue Peter style this is uh, one I made earlier. So we're going here for a uh, password length check. Entering a password seven characters or long. Now dot strip is a new method for you um, and it only works with strings and what that does is it removes the any spaces that are at the end um, so you know what it's like if you're logging on at school and you put a space either at the beginning of your username or at the end of your username uh, computer won't accept it so dot strip will remove any end uh, any spaces at the end uh, there are there are other methods that will um, strip from the beginning as well but for now we'll just use dot strip and so here's our length check shall I make that bigger so you can see it more clearly yes so if you're if you are using Tony you can you can change your theme and, and your font just like you can so if I go to 22 see what that's like that's better isn't it Right here, and your assistant. You can close this down. This will help you uh, with your any errors. But for now, I'll I'm going to close it down so you can see. So we can't see dot strip anymore. But you'll just have to. You I've shown you once. While so here's our um, length check. So it's a while loop. While the length of the password is less than seven, we'll print invalid password. And then remember to ask the question again, because if you don't ask the question again, you're just going to end up with an infinite loop. There, there's dot strip. Obviously, just copy and paste it from the from the first uh, bit. If if the input passes the length check, we're going to print out valid password. And I've just printed out the password as well, just so that uh, we can see it running. Um, so in Python, in Tony, you don't have to save it saves as it goes. You can just press run. Just make the shell a little bit bigger so we can see it. There we go. And so enter a password. So one, two, three. We would expect that to fail. And it does. Try it with letters. Fails. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It passes. Okay. So that's really important that you check each time both with um, uh, data that you expect to fail and data that you expect to pass. So have a go now with creating a, a, a length check program, some validation, and then we'll move on to the next one.